Hey friends, welcome back to the another tutorial video and today in this video, I will let you know how to make uh, a smart plant monitoring system using Blink 2.0 in which uh, we included a PIR sensor, temperature humidity sensor and a LCD display which will show temperature value, humidity value, soil moisture value and a motion detection uh, value whether it is turned on or off and um, a uh, uh, water pump uh, button so which we can uh, see like if uh, if we press this then the uh, water pump will be on and uh, we can see the status of the water pump and this is the manual switch uh, uh, to uh, to control the water pump instead of water pump uh, dc water pump i uh, used this dc motor uh, to demonstrate the project and we can even control this uh, water pump uh, through blink iot also and here, uh, here we can see the water pump is off and uh, this is a soil moisture sensor uh, through which we uh, we will be co uh, collecting the uh, soil uh, moisture value and uh, here we can uh, see that the soil moisture value it is zero now and while putting uh, into the water i am getting a soil moisture value similarly i will getting uh, the soil moisture value in the display also and this is the water pump uh, to operate uh, according to the uh, soil moisture value so this is how uh, this project will look like similarly we uh, we will be getting the uh, all the values in the uh, blink mobile application also uh, here uh, this is the uh, gauge for temp uh, to display the temperature value and this is a gauge uh, to display humidity value and this is a gauge uh, gauge for uh, display soil moisture value and uh, this is a, a switch for uh, activate the pir uh, uh, switch okay let uh, i on And this one a LED uh, will glow. Uh, this LED will glow while mm, any uh, uh, any movement occur uh, in uh, in front of PIR uh, motion detection sensor. So uh, now it's off. Here, similarly, we can uh, show uh, the uh, show the status in LCD display also on. So as you can see the motion occurred uh, here uh, we can uh, able to get a notification so this is all about the project uh, before moving forward if you are visited for first time to my youtube channel then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified in each new tutorial videos and please finish 500 likes for this video which will motivate me to do more such kind videos so without any further ado let's quickly get started with this video to make this project the requirements that we need are a node mcu to control all the uh, uh, sensors a 16 cross 2 LCD display to display the values DHT11 sensor to collect the temperature and humidity value a relay module to turn on and off the motor PIR sensor to detect any motions soil moisture sensor two lithium ion batteries lithium ion battery holders DC pump a push button breadboard and a couple of jumper wires follow this circuit diagram and make your connections after all connections you need to plug in the node mcu in your pc do follow the steps in your PC.
remember the event name in the blink and the event name in the code should be same if you are uh, looking to change uh, you can uh, change the event name but uh, remember you should change in the uh, code also Copy the authentication code uh, from here which will be required in the coding section. Do follow these steps in your mobile.
section this is about the coding part um, here uh, we need to install uh, the libraries these are the libraries which we need to install uh, if you don't know how to install uh, libraries in arduino do prefer this video and if you are getting any issues uh, with lcd display then do prefer this video these are the lines uh, i copied from the blink iot platform and here we need to copy the authentication code and paste over here similarly we need to uh, change the wi-fi credentials i'm changing the ssid and password and that's all nothing has to be changed uh, now this time to verify the code After compilation, select the board and ports and this time upload the code into our node MCU. And this is all about uh, the project. I hope you like this video then do hit that like button and also share this video among with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe for more such videos and please finish uh, 500 uh, likes for this video which will motivate me to do more such kind of videos and i will see you in next one